September the 30th, two days after the football game, DJ prepares to go and visit his father. Samaya, DJ's mother, receives a supposed text from David saying he does not feel good and DJ does not need to stop by. DJ texts his father and is told the same thing. However, he needed to pick up some things from his dad's apartment and he goes anyway. When he pulls up, he notices that Tammy is taking out the trash. DJ reports soon as Tammy sees him, she runs to the apartment door. When he gets to the door, it's locked. He doesn't understand why it's locked when she just saw him, but he has a key. Tammy then approaches DJ, what's going on? He tells Tammy he's just there to pick up some items as he notices that his door is closed. Tammy then closes the bathroom door. DJ told Tammy he wanted to speak to his father. But Tammy then tells DJ that his father is out on a walk. He finds it strange that his father is out on a walk despite being sick and it was cold outside, but he leaves anyway. David is a no call, no show for three days in a row at work. Out of his characteristic, a concerned co-worker calls his sister. She calls Tammy and Tammy says she hasn't talked to him since Sunday. His sister and her husband, Tasia, head to his apartment. They find that the door is unlocked. Samaya and his dad also joined them at his apartment. His bed was not made. His sheets were balled up. No way he leaves his apartment like this. He was a neat freak. Something was wrong. Tasia notices a huge red stain on the floor. It was as if the bed had been placed over it. The indentions on the carpet reveal the bed had been moved. Samaya, moving the comforter, sees what appears to be blood on the mattress and the hole. His father notices another hole on the bottom left corner of the closet door. He knew from being a soldier it was a bullet hole and he orders everyone out of the apartment. They file a missing persons report. The police suspect foul play. They form a search party but Tammy does not attend. Instead, she goes to work as if everything was normal. October the 1st, the Ohio Department of Transportation discover a sleeping bag off I-75. And what they find inside is shocking to say the least. A dismembered lower half of a body with a distinctive tattoo on the upper leg, a pit bull with red eyes. October the 3rd, the chief of police calls David's father to meet with him and identify the body. The tattoo belongs to David. And on October 5th, Tammy is arrested in connection with the brutal death of David, but without enough evidence to hold her at the time and no complete body, she is released within 72 hours. October 10th, on I-75, a black duffel bag is found, this time with David's head wrapped in a grocery bag, a gunshot wound behind the earlobe, close range, almost near contact. October the 16th, a suitcase is found, containing David's upper torso, two arms, and two hands. With no evidence of defensive wounds, David may have been killed in his sleep. A antihistamine would be found in his bloodstream. A antihistamine causes sleepiness. For more on this story and others like it, please take a second, click this link and subscribe to my YouTube.